Hi team, and welcome to this week's vlog, which is about my bag collection. My favourite bag of the collection. I say collection, I don't have that many designer bags, but it is growing and it will continue to expand for the rest of my life. So, this is top of the list, and this is the Giacomo Lucerda Horizontal. I hope I'm saying that right. I tried to do it in the proper accent. Forgive me if I got it completely wrong. I think it's given like 70s Austin Powers vibes, but in a really, really good way. Also, just a quick side note, I am not sure whether to film for YouTube with a mic or not, because when I have done it with a mic, there's been like a little buzzing off the camera. So let me know if you can hear that in previous vlogs. The ones that me and my sister have been doing, we've been using mics obviously, and I feel that you can hear a little buzz in the background. So let me know if that's the case and what you prefer. So I'm gonna go over what I really like about this bag. First of all, the colour and the difference in textures. I think it's cask and leather. And we've got like fur here as well. I'm not sure if it's faux fur or not. Unsure, I'll need to check that. Is this engraved lobster clip. I really like the lobster clip. I think it's quirky. And the metal finish gives it a kind of industrial vibe, which I really, really enjoy. The shoulder strap is like a webbed canvas. Again, I like the colour. It's a nice neutral. I think it contrasts well with the bright orange. Zipper tape or the teeth are very nice. Super, super smooth. I know that sounds a bit silly, but some bags that's not the case. And it's super smooth in both directions, obviously, because the bag has got quite a solid structure, which I also enjoy because there's nothing worse than when it, you've got it over your shoulder. See, when we're walking around on holiday and I'm like having to pinch the bag to like open it and close it to get my camera out and stuff. So I really, really love this. It's also got a handy exterior patch pocket. Just show you here, which is just quite handy, especially again for when we're walking around on holiday if I just want to grab my card or my phone out and I don't want to have to unzip the bag. So, But I, I mean, I'm, I'm going into the technical details here, but really I love it because of the aesthetic. More than anything else, I love it because of the aesthetic. I think it is absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm just totally in love with it and I think I always will be. But also, see, just from a practicality point of view, like you can fit quite a good bit in here that you can easily get phone, wallet, etc. Everything that I would need day to day or when I'm walking around on holiday would easily fit in this bag. Keys, phone, wallet, etc. I don't need much more than that. Again, just to go off on a slight tangent, I never realised how much I needed bags in my life until I have them. They've just been a revelation, like walking around with stuff in your pockets as a man is so 2008. That needs to go. Guys, get a bag. They're incredible. Next up, we have the Jacquemus La Banane Guardienne. Again, I know I'm butchering that. I'm sorry, I tried my best. So I absolutely love this for a few reasons. I mean, first of all, again, like the detailing is just beautiful. The stitching is so well done. Like it's just, with every light, every Jacquemus product it is exceptional quality. It is not overly practical because there isn't a huge amount of space in here. Four and wallet and not much else, but really that's enough. And all. usually as well, like I don't even take my wallet, I just use Apple Pay. So there's enough room for my phone, which is perfect. I can also get my camera in there if I just take off like the handle. It's just easily done. I can just put the handle in my pocket if we are walking around on holiday. So it does the job that it needs to do. Also, it's got an interior patch pocket as well, but not really a lot of room to segregate the things in there. So. It's not 100% necessary. I think obviously if you were carrying a card or whatever, that's handy, but they just use Apple Pay. So, but again, functionality, not the best, but it is functional enough that I wear it a lot. Also, huge, huge positive for this bag. The crossbody strap is actually large enough to go across my body. Not all of them are. The Lisuerda there, I can only wear over the shoulder. I can't actually wear it across my body. Well, I can get it on, but it's like super, super tight to the point of looking a bit silly. So this one is large enough for me to wear over my body and I do so on holiday. I'm mentioning a lot about these bags on holiday, but you know, I think that's when I wear them for style here, but I do wear them obviously more for function on holiday when we're around and I still want to look really, really cool during the day. So this is great. I love it. I just think it's so, so beautiful. It goes with so many outfits. Like obviously if you follow me, if you consume my content, you know that I pair it with so many outfits. I wear it constantly. So I've had so much use out of it. I absolutely adore it. I think it's so stylish and I will have it forever. Next up we have the Gucci Boston in red. I'm obsessed with this. Now this is a female bag, but if you know me and you you know consume my content, you know that I really don't care about those distinctions when it comes to pretty much anything. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I use it all the time. Obviously it's extremely spacious inside, much more so than the previous two. I have it constantly. I just think it is absolutely beautiful. And one thing I really like about Gucci bags in general is the binding, which is a bit of an obscure thing to like about a bag, but, but I appreciate the details. 
So obviously like the binding in these bags is the same colour as the bag, but I enjoy that kind of patent look material. But yeah, it always just stands out to me and I really, really like it. I think it's nice that they've even made the binding semi-fancy and kind of noticeable. Obviously the tabs on this bag like go all the way around, which I believe is a feature of all the Boston bags. I might be wrong there, but I think it is. Nice smooth zip action. And I only say that because a lot of them don't have it. Nice little accents here again. But yeah, I just think it's beautiful. I love Gucci. You know, it's, it's when I was growing up and I thought of luxury and aspiration and things like that. Gucci and LV were the first two that came to mind and being an Italian, you know, I'm rooting for Gucci. I just love this. It's so, so practical. And again, when I'm out and about, when I'm on holiday, I can fit everything in here. Camera, I can even fit a little panel light. I can fit the stand for my camera. Phone, wallet if I'm taking it, absolutely everything. And, and the way I try and judge bags, obviously certain bags go better with certain outfits. That's just colour theory. However, sometimes I like to go against colour theory and really with a bag, I like to see it doesn't have to match. It's an eclectic addition to any outfit. It doesn't always have to match, especially if it's a statement piece on its own. Also, after our honeymoon, we are going to Paris in August, and I think I might pick another one of these up. I'd actually like to pick up another couple of bags. This and another Jacquemus bag. I can't wait for the wedding, by the way. It's like 21 weeks. It was 21 weeks yesterday, and I just can't wait. I'm so, so excited. But up next, we have the green Gucci Imprimé shoulder bag. This is super, super practical. So I, I got this at the designer exchange in Manchester. I never really have it off, especially on holiday. This is the like SAS of bags, in my opinion. It's really, really big. It's super sturdy. The strap is very long, long enough that I can wear it comfortably cross body or over the shoulder. And just as I mentioned previously for the Boston, I really, really appreciate the Gucci binding. I like that it's still a little bit bougie and noticeable. And it looks super sturdy too, which I do enjoy. I also really like the name of this bag, Imprime, which means imprints in Italian, and this tag is Certainly imprinted on me. <laughs> so cheesy. And I'll be doing my QVC shopping channel slot tonight. I just really, really love this bag. Like, it's super, super practical. Also, the front pocket is quite spacious and is good. If, say, I've got camera and, you know, a few other cumbersome items in the main part of the bag, and I can just put my phone in the front. I really, really wear it a lot when I'm going to the airport. I just find it so practical. I think it's absolutely stunning. This kind of green, this like kind of dark green, almost a kind of forest green, is my favourite colour. So yeah, I'm just totally in love with this bag. It's beautiful, it's Gucci, and it's super, super practical. But obviously, practicality, it does factor into the conversation. I don't think it should feature too much in the conversation when we're talking about luxury, because luxury in its essence isn't about practicality or utility. It is about a dream. That is part of the reason I love luxury items so much is because it is aspirational. Like luxury and a luxury lifestyle is the goal that I am aspiring towards. So obviously there are other metrics that I judge that by, but when I acquire just these little luxury bits that I know I'll have for the rest of my life, I just see it as another stepping stone, another little marker of my journey on the road to where I want to be. And again, as I said, I just think they've got lots of lovely connotations. When I grew up, we had no money. So now that I have some means and I'm steadily acquiring more and getting further on my journey of where I want to be in life, I think it's nice to mark the occasion with a bit of luxury. Next we have the Gucci 1973 clutch. This is very clearly a bag that was intended for women and I very clearly don't care. You and I don't care about those things. I kind of use this as like a nighttime bag, like if I'm going somewhere for dinner or somewhere fancy. I usually like to pair this with my outfit. Also I just want to show you because I think the chain is so bougie, like it's really heavy feels really substantial and I just think it feels really bougie, I absolutely love it. I feel like this is my gateway drug or a stepping stone to a classic flap Chanel. I really, really want one of those. I think they are stunning and every time I look at this bag, I'm like, but next, it's the Chanel classic flap. It's not too big, so it's really handy and I can just carry it. So I'll wear a lot of dark colours, a lot of dark suits. Obviously, if you follow me, you'll know I love a suit with chest out. So this goes really, really well with nighttime attire. I'm a huge fan of it and I would like to acquire many more clutches throughout my life. Up next, and this is something a bit different, is the Burberry Monogam Stripe in Medium Sunny Bum Bag. Now, this is a bag that I don't generally wear, you know, when I'm just out and about or even out and about shopping on holiday. I tend to take it if we're going to like a beach club or something like that and I don't actually wear it bum bag style. No, no. I generally just carry it, but 
super super spacious and I think it's it's pretty it's kind of giving ocean beach vibes which I, I think I actually have wore this bag to ocean beach I actually bought this bag when I was living in Dubai which will be about five years ago now I bought it at the Dubai Mall with a real sense of achievement so I did I think it was like my first paycheck there and I was like to the wall and then you know, I saw this in Burberry and I was I was taken by it straight away Again, yeah, nice binding on this so funny. I've actually realised, I've actually filled this with socks so that it will puff it out, so that it will look good on my shelf. I forgot I'd done that. That's, that's, that's actually so, so funny. But yeah, I know certain people can think that the monogram stuff is a bit loud, but I think when it's done well, it can actually be super stylish. So I will never shy away from a monogram bag. Lack of subtlety doesn't bother me. I think that when it's done well, it can be super, super cool. Canvas crossbody strap just clips in. As I said, I probably would just carry this bag because I would never wear it bum bag style. This body is okay, but it's a bit tight and I think it gives, like I say, kind of um, spicy boy, like Ocean Beach connotations, which is not the image I wish to project. It's not the artifice I wish to present to the world. As I say, I don't really use this that frequently, but I do love it. I think it's stunning and I'm always delighted when I get to pick it up when we are going to an appropriate venue. So thank you so, so much for watching guys. This was just a short and sharp run through. It's just a kind of bite-sized one. Got a couple of longer vlogs coming with Myself and my sister are doing a salt burn review, but you know, I've been posting a lot of fix with bags recently, so I thought it would be appropriate to do a vlog on the bags that I have. I'm not exactly sure what bag I would like to get next. If Hermes would sell me a Birkin for Eva, I'd like to get one for myself next. Yeah, that would be such a good milestone if I could get a Birkin for both of us. I think I need to build up my credibility with Hermes first. Let me know what you think. Let me know what bags are in your collection. Let me know what your favourites are. Let me know what your favourite bag from this vlog is. What kind of looks are you enjoying right now? What are you pairing your bag with? What are your favourite features of your bags? Let's get super technical. If you've got your eye on something that you think I would like, please let me know. Just on a side note before I go, I subscribe to Vogue. I'm looking for some really cool other like fashion publications that I can subscribe to. There's a magazine called Purple Magazine that looks really cool that I think I'm probably going to subscribe to. And one called Review as well, R-E-V-U-E. -E. Looks super cool. I think I'm probably going to subscribe to that as well. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I am going to be commenting on this live and watching it with you. So please let me know your thoughts. Hit me up and I will chat to you soon. Thanks so much. See you soon.